Hey guys, it's Ann. Today we are going to take a look in on the outside bin and we're going to make a decision. Is it time for them to go outside? Uh, I would like for them to go outside. So uh, let's have a look. Now this did get fed and had a little more bedding put in it since the last time you've seen it. Uh, mostly due to the fact that my camera stopped recording in the middle of the video. So you haven't seen this particular bin for over a month. Although I have not been neglecting it. So let's move over all of this new bedding I put in there and see what we have got. Now what I really wanted to do here was to harvest this bin, harvest these castings, and then put this bin back outside. And uh, if you have been watching this vid uh, series for very long, you know that I put some like dirt in here and that has created very difficult conditions for me in order to get this bin to go to completion. The sod that I put in here is still has the roots in it. Let's see if I can find it. So you can see there's still roots in there. It's still holding everything together. So it's kind of not really in the place I'd like it to be. Although I think if I could get it to be completely broken up, I could get this to harvest and put it outside. So we've had a bit of a cold snap here where it is below freezing again. I've brought everything back inside. So not super concerned about throwing it outside right now. But what I would like to do is do a complete evaluation of the bin and then see what I've got. Kind of move things over, see how they've done on the last feeding that I gave them. And uh, then we will go from there. <clears throat> now there is about probably two pounds of my Red Wiggler uh, European Nightcrawler Blue Worm mix in this bin. And you can tell they are breeding. There's a nice little cocoon there, if I can get that to show you right near my thumb. So they're in here and they are happy. Although it is, you know, 65 degrees in the basement, um, they have been doing well for quite some time in here. So let's see if I can find that food and see what they've eaten. But I think I'm probably gonna have to really maybe bait out the worms and let this dry out significantly in order to be able to sift everything with these sod bits in it. It's just not, it's just, you know, it's been in the basement for four months and it is just simply not uh, getting any Okay, well it is getting more broken down, but it's not going fast enough for me. If you've been a member of my worm family for very long, you know I am a little impatient and uh, really was hoping that the bin that had been outside for six months would finish up this winter inside and uh, give me the castings and an empty bin and I could harvest this thing. But that is not really what has transpired in the four months that it has been in the basement. Now the bins do continue. To, the bin is, you know, <clears throat> it is working. It's doing its thing. But I, you know, obviously this is in no shape or form ready to harvest. These castings are pretty wet and the, uh, the roots from the sod really are making it rather clumpy have not found the food. I found a little bit of a melon piece there. So I don't know if they've completely taken up all the food or if I just haven't found it yet. I moved this bin out of my way because um, it is in the way of where I normally shoot my videos. So this gets moved all over the place so I don't know which side is which uh, to remember what has been fed. All right, well, it's not this side and it's not the middle. Middle. I just wanted to say that uh, if you're liking this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And of course, if you want to know what I'm doing exactly when I'm doing it, you can ring that um, bell icon. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. I've got some avocado shells little bit of a worm ball. They do love their avocado shells. Most of the time in my bin, they don't usually get to eat the avocado part. They only get the shell, and yet they still seem to like it. So we have definitely found the feeding zone. 
And I did add quite a bit of bedding to try and get everything loosened up. All right, here's those blue jeans. We're just down to some strings now. They've been in there for about six months. They were an outside towel, and I put them in the when I put them in the bin. I think London Worms found that when they have a little spandex in it, you just get this little uh, kind of mesh when everything's done. All right. Well, I'm not finding anything that looks like they've got enough food to keep them going here. Just some remnants of that melon. Yeah. Well. I think it's been two weeks since I looked in here, and now that I'm looking at the volume of worms in here, there might even be more than uh, two pounds in here. If you kind of have been paying attention as I've been digging through, put in the comments below and, and let me know what you think, how many worms I have in here. So let's get them some food. We'll just put that all back on the same side, and then that way they can have a meal and maybe get drawn off to the side a little bit. Okay, this is a mix of goo from CC. So this is uh, just whatever was at the bot, literally the bottom of the barrel, right? So I'm going to put that bedding on top of it and smooth that out. Um, let me know what you think. How am I going to get this thing back outside? Because I'm not picking it up. This thing weighs probably 100 pounds now. If you like this video and you want to know how I made this bin, I will go ahead and put a video right over there for you to look at now.